Hi there, it's Carrie here. Imagine if this was one of those before and after videos. At the beginning of the video, you might be connecting words with a pause. So for example, if a word ends in a vowel like play and the next word begins with a vowel like it, you might go from either play it where there's a bit of a pause or play it where it's kind of a glottal stop. By the end of the video, I'm going to help you to sound more impressive and it will also help you to feel better when you do this. You're going to learn to sneak in a consonant. Sometimes it's going to be a consonant like y, play it. Other times it'll be a, a w, like no answer, no answer. And I'm going to help you to sing, go from sounding kind of strange, play it, no answer, to more impressive, play it, no answer. It sounds more fluent and it feels better. Let's do this. Looking at a smaller version of this color vowel chart up close, think about what do you notice the following sounds have in common? Green tea e, gray day a white tie eye, turquoise toy oi, e a i oi. You might have noticed that my lips are smiling, they were apart near the end of those sounds. Yes, that is one, one thing they have in common. All of these vowels were found on this part of the chart. This is near the front part, close to where your lips and teeth are. If you were really paying attention, you might have noticed the movement. I was moving the sounds up. And this sound, turquoise toy oi, it moved up and across to, to end near this front part of the chart. All of these moving vowels, they each move up to y before they connect with another vowel. And if you look really closely, you'll see there's a very faint y near the green e section, gray a, white i, and turquoise toy. Those are your visual cues. So you don't have to remember this. When you see those cues, that's going to cue you that each of those sounds moves up to y to link with another vowel. Let's practice so I can show you. These first set of examples are all going to have a word that ends in green t e and it will link up to a y to connect with another vowel sound. He is. He is coming. Now you're probably thinking that sounds kind of strange and not for me. Hang on. Sometimes we've got to go through that awkward stage before we can get to the beautiful, fluent, confident stage. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate and encourage in this session. The first time I model, it will be a stronger y. And the second time, it will be a softer, quieter y. And then I'm going to encourage you to join in and try it out with me. Here we go. He is. He is. He is coming and join in.
We are. We are. We are traveling together. See if. See if. Let's see if we survive this trip. Your turn. These next examples all have a word ending in gray day a. And it move, they move up to y to link with the next vowel. Say anything. Say anything. Did he say anything else? Stay in. Stay in. Let's stay in touch. Way out. Way out. Maybe there's a way out without hurting his feelings. Your turn. Your turn could involve just the phrase, way out, or the whole sentence. Maybe there's a way out without hurting his feelings. It's your practice too. These next examples all have a word ending in white tie I, and they'll move up to ya to link with the next vowel. I asked. I asked. I asked a question. Join in. Why is? Why is? Why is that a good deal? Buy it. Buy it. I'll buy it right away. I have one example with a turquoise toy oi word ending that links up to ya. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. Those examples all linked up to ya. What about the wa and some sounds that link up to that one? Looking at the color vowel chart again, what do you notice these vowels have in common? Rose boat O, blue moon O, and brown cow ow. O, O, ow. You might have noticed this time there's lip rounding for each of those sounds. They are formed near this part of the chart, which is at the back part of the chart. They also involve movement, starting in one position like rows O, moving up to a different spot like O to O. And that way they all move up to the wa, which helps them link to the next vowel. Brown, how are you, for example, how are? Let's practice. This first examples are all words that end in rose, boat, 
O linking up to wa. So why? So why? So I heard you were upset. Join in. Go away. Go away. I needed to go away. Give it a try. No if. No if. I didn't know if you were miss me. Your turn. These examples all have a word ending in blue, moon, oo that links up to wa. Do anything. Do anything else? We didn't do anything else on our trip. Give it a try. Few hours. Few hours. We only had a few hours to sightsee. Knew about. Knew about. I wish we knew about the best spots to visit. Join in. Okay, last set of examples all end in brown cow ow linking up to wa. How are? How are? How are you feeling? Now and now and I think of us now and then. A couple of tips now that you're moving on to your after version of fluent you. If you found it would be helpful to trace along a chart similar to this one, you can pop over to colorvowel.com Scroll down and you'll find a chart that looks just like this. It'll also have those very handy visual cues. So you won't need to remember which sounds link with ya and which ones link with wa. My last tip for you is the more you practice, think about almost mouthing the, the sound, the ya and the wa without any voicing. So instead of going like play it, it's almost like play it, play it, where you know it's there, but the people you're trying to impress, they won't even notice that part.